Hello, welcome back to a bunch of people. So today is questions without answers. And it may seem strange that I'm going to be asking questions but not really giving any answers. But I think that it's important. I think that asking questions is important even if you don't know the answer or you can't know the answer because it, it, it changes the way you think and it, it definitely just impacts your thinking. And there were a lot of different sources that I've taken this idea from. Like, one of the first ones, I think, was um, the book Night by Ellie Wiesel, Wessel, Wiesel, Wiesel, I don't know. But uh, there's there's one line in that where I think it Ellie's Wiesel's Wiesel, I don't know. His rabbi mentions that he prays to God to help him ask the right questions. And that's cool, because you're asking questions is what's important. It changes how you think. Another thing uh, was the PBS Idea Channel, which is a channel on YouTube here, that always asks a question and then gives multiple answers to it, kind of. And often they don't really answer the question definitively, and I think that's important that they leave it kind of open to interpretation a little bit, and because it changes how you think. It, it makes you think more about what you already thought you knew the answer to, and so maybe not saying you have a definitive answer to something is a good thing. I am unsure about a lot of things, and very often I pretend like I'm totally sure of them, and I, I definitely think that we would all benefit if we just sometimes were like, I don't really know. Here's what I think, but I don't know the answer to this. Uh, and then the, finally, of course, is the Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy, where we know the answer is 42, but we don't know the question. And so... I'm here to premiere some of my questions without answers. So the first is, what makes culture good? What makes um, a piece of culture good, like a movie? What makes a movie good? What makes a song good? Does that change throughout time? Is there some objectively good song? Like, I'm pretty sure Cole actually said that in something. Is there an objective good? Is there... Uh, some kind of, like, rating system that we can use? Is there something that we could all agree it makes good culture? I don't know. Questions without answers. Alright, second. Who figured out snapping? Like, what was the first person who thought of snapping? Did they pass that along to everybody else? Or do we all think figure out snapping kind of independently? Because I don't remember, and I... I don't know any people who have learned to snap. Do they, like, pick it up from everybody else? Or can do you just learn to snap just like that? And I think that's cool because it brings up a lot of ideas of, like, learned behavior versus instinctual behavior. And even, like, snapping, it seems like you might learn it. But I don't... Nobody ever, like, taught you how to snap. They might have. But I don't think everyone who learned how to snap was like taught step by step. You you kind of figured it out by yourself, and I but I don't know, and that I think is cool. Uh, and then the last one is how do bees fly? So um I know this is there was the big scientific thing like uh, that scientists don't know how bees can fly. It doesn't make sense with physics. I'm assuming that's not true because scientists are generally pretty smart and we know that bees can fly so you didn't just you don't just dismiss that type of thing. But the question of how do bees fly in this way that is seemingly against the laws of physics I think is a cool question because it talks it just it not talks about but it uh, it brings up the question of how do we learn things and how do we learn things about the world and um if you already know something that happened, if you already know something happens, like you already know that bees fly, what kind of importance is it if you learn how? And I think it is important to learn how, but I think like, there's always the reality of bees can fly, and saying that it doesn't make sense with physics is saying that we don't know something. And I think it's cool. How do bees fly? I would be interested to learn the answer to that, but I think asking the question might even be more interesting and like asking all the questions that go along with that question and what it means that we even ask that question. And so, 
Yeah, questions without answers. If you want to ask a question that I won't answer, put it in the comments. Alright, bye.